All right. Lacombe. You guys sounded great. So let's bring the boys up here. Mike, come on up. Jimmy, let's give him a late night welcome again. What's up, Mike? What's up, buddy? Jimmy, my man. Tony. What's up, guys? What's up, What's up man? fellas? How you doing, all right? Jimmy, sit next to Mike. We need the two grandfathers of Lacombe. <laughs> How's it going, fellas? Great. I'm very glad to see you guys here. Great to see you too, guys. Long time coming. Uh, listen, I know I know Mike since 1989 from good old Wildwood, right? Yeah, man. Now listen, let's talk about you, Mike Lacomp. He's the co-founder of, of the band Lacomp, 1987. Prior to that, you were in a band called Tangier, a great, great band. Why don't you tell us how old you were when you started? Give us a little bio, walk us up through your musical career that led you to Lacomp. Uh, you know, big family, <laughs> a lot of musicians in the family. Around music at early age, and I was started playing in in bars about 17, 18. I met Jimmy about 1980. He was in another band. Mm. Wow. Then later on, he went to California, and I did a couple of things, and I I got La Comp together, and then I had that for a year. Then I joined Tangier, and we had a big record deal. I had to deal with that. Yeah, they uh, they were signed to Atlantic. They had a big big deal back in the day. Before the grunge and all that stuff. That and, band um, was great. The, the, the band, good songs. And uh, then about 91, when that sort of fizzled out because of the music industry changed with that. Yeah. You know, a lots of different uh, alternative in Seattle. Killed and all that rock stuff. and roll. And, and then um, Jimmy, I had moved back to Philadelphia. And then Jimmy and I started playing together. And he wanted to play with another band, uh, Heaven's Edge or. or a ton of bands. We both play with a ton of people. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I uh, put a bunch of records out on my own label, and wrote some songs for some people. And uh, I work, you know, we work all the time, you know, like seven days a week and constantly. Song, five now. And I got two new guys. This is Jimmy Marciano. Jimmy Marciano, guy. everybody. Growth for thirty years. <laughs> These guys are from my neighborhood. These guys. This is Ray Palmer. Hey. Ray was born in nineteen eighty nine. <laughs> and Rob Pure Ficado. Rob was born in 1990. <laughs> you guys, you guys are Just like. When I moved back from LA, I think. Yeah. You guys are like Gene and Paul <laughs> with the newcomers. Just not them. I want to be. I want to be Gene. <laughs> <laughs> but these guys, forget about it. The, the music was great. Tangier was a great band. They reminded me of a, uh, of an Alice Smith type of band. It was a, it was a big deal because they had a lot of money in it. And a big video, uh, Pam Anderson's first video. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Singing to her in the desert, you know. Mm-hmm. Now tell everybody you had a couple of the members of Britney Fox, the headband from the 80s, in the band after they broke up, before Jim, and, and when Jimmy left. And, and some with Jimmy, too. Okay. Uh, uh, Billy Childs Billy and Child. Johnny D. Who those guys are beautiful guys. Nice we guys. love those guys, yeah. Johnny and Billy. Billy Soft plays guys. with Jimmy now. Jimmy plays and Get the Let Out. It's a national Led Zeppelin tribute band. They're huge everywhere, you know? So when he's not playing with them, he's playing with us. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we, we work as a trio, except when Jimmy's available, like, Four or five days a month, we he plays with us. But now, uh, Jimmy, you're touring. He, you're touring with the band, ain't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Tour bus and everything. Yep. Nice. We're you know, we're flying a lot, but uh, the bus is a lot easier. We get to sleep more. Yeah. I hear you. That's cool. You get to see the world a little, right? Yeah. That must be great. Get in that bunk next now, where'd you week. find these guys? <laughs> these guys are from my neighborhood. They're both great singers, great players, nice guys, and uh, good. They like to work and they like they love music. You know, it's like a lot of. When you meet different people along the way, you know, sometimes you be setting a, 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 a formula of something and you meet other people and other things happen. So we're writing and recording right now and the best is yet to come and, uh, you know, everything's great. You know what was great about you guys? Because when we were kids, we always went to the Jersey Shore. My place was Wildwood, but it, it was so ironic how every summer... Memorial Day, Labor Day, Fourth July weekend, Lacombe would be there, and we and we'd be like playing, yeah, Lacombe, Lacombe. This is where we knew the guys. But Mike, from like the day when I met him, when we were in the fun cheering on, he always gave everybody a lot of love, and oh, yeah. you, you made us feel. Once yeah. you got to know us backstage, yeah. beers free, just not everything was I know a lot on of the house. From Staten Island now, and the very kind people up here, you know? <laughs> except for that guy who cut us off. <laughs> <laughs> Great people up here. A lot now, of good friends. Now, how many albums you got total? Seven? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, seven, or seven or eight, but there's a there's a uh, one on two on label, and I started my own label and I put a bunch of records out. And now no more records. What's the name of the record label? Quarry. Quarry Records. There you yeah. go. Okay, cool. Still and got now, it. Same thing. 
Well, now it's a download, you know. You, yeah. There's no more real record business, you know. It's, it's a like, shame, but I'm, I mean, you know, I'm sure you still put out packets. Do you still put out packet CDs? Or yeah, no? yeah, yeah. People order them, uh, but the main thing is is keeping up with the technology, you know. Keep, you know, kids don't know what CDs are. It's a shame. I had an album. Uh, Al Tangier had vinyl. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. So, but you know what? The kids don't realize. If you buy the CD, you could download that and save the CD. And when you lose those songs, the kids got to buy them again. All right. So they don't get that, that they're saving money in the long run if they just buy the CD, right no. or wrong. And then you get the whole package with it. I like CDs. I like to read stuff. Love them. Give something extra on that. That's why the, the downloading has become so popular because you download the whole record, but you know they have to. If you're putting CDs out, you have to put something extra in there, maybe a video, which you can download so, you know, <laughs> in a couple of days. And then once we got to know, you used to call me up all the time to play Honky Tonk Woman. That, that was it. Good old times. I used to look forward to that. Come down with a posse. He had a posse. The whole posse from Princess Bay, right? Yeah. <laughs> we got one of the guys that you and What's the song? Uh, uh, Sweet Home Staten Island. So if you guys get a chance, look up LeCompte. They have a lot of great music. If you like hard rock and roll, rock and roll, classic rock, these are the guys. Uh, as you said. Untold story right here. These guys should have been huge. But uh, come back anytime. Facebook, MySpace. Oh, MySpace. No one uses MySpace. Website? That's how dated I'm getting. Yeah, lecomp.com. Or we all have uh, Mike LeComp, uh, Facebook, Jimmy Marciano, Ray Palmer, Rob Purificado. You know, network, man. I had, yeah. I had an 80s flashback over there. <laughs> well, listen, guys, come back anytime. Mike yeah, LeComp and LeComp. It's about that time that we have to say our goodbyes and close the show. But before we do, I'd like to say special thanks to all our friends who donated all that fine dining uh, that you ate. We have uh, Nucci, Paulie from Nucci's Restaurant South. Uh, we have Fratelli's Pizzeria and we have Cigar and Bagels, both located in downtown Princess Bay. And if you want to be a member of the studio audience or just be a guest on the show, Email me at late night with Johnny P at yahoo.com. Check us out on Vimeo and all that other nonsense that they got on the web, you know, Twitter, Facebook. But uh, from my family to yours, I'm Johnny P. Have a safe and happy holidays and even a better new year. Get home safe. See you in the new year. Thank you. Yeah.